Dang, Sado? In front of your house. <laughs> Agarra los pajaritos. Why? Well, you were partying it up. You over there living la vida loca. And I'm, like and I'm here working. At least you get to sleep. Slaving away. Whatever. So you get to sleep alone and comfortable, uninterrupted. You have nothing to worry about. It is pretty glorious. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. Don't lie on my baby. <laughs> Hi, bud. He's been eating overall really well. He's been eating everything out here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. I miss you, bud. He had quesadilla yesterday. What? Yeah, he, he had steak. He had chicken. He's been doing pretty good. Buddy. What you got there, bud? Get the NS. Wow, a box cutter, huh? No, a fake one. Oh. That's a really good thing. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, buddy! ¿Qué estás haciendo? Dile cómo hace el pato. Guac, guac. Guac, guac. Y todo ese. ¿Cómo lo hace el pato? Guac, guac.
liar. I do. I see them when we go into grandma's house every day. I see the ABCs. So you don't know my life. <laughs> Put my baby back on the camera. I'm not trying to see you. Where's my baby? Buddy. It's your bud. How's he enjoying Mexico? He's liking it. He, he's just no, no, Where are we going today, Pooj? Going to meet your friend Marley? Look at his face. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We are going to have a play date. We're going to meet one of our LBM supporters, Yvonne Zella. Yeah, and little Marley. We're going to ask her a few questions and hang out at the park. Woo! Come with us. Let's get going. We'll see y'all there. She's one of our supporters, and we always try to make time to hang out with her because she has this little guy over here. Cute little Marley. <laughs> All right, so Yvonne actually went through the IUI process, and she's going to share a little bit about her experience. Okay. So since I had a known donor, we tried to do it at home at first, and if you Google, there's all kinds of ways that you can try to do it at home, which is comical and never worked. Uh, so we had to go through uh, the doctor route and do an official IUI. Um, I think it took about a, almost two years wow. for it to happen, but I spent about eight months trying it on my own, like at home, which yeah. is pretty funny. How many times did you like try at home if you don't? mind sharing at least eight <laughs> eight times yeah 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 yeah. and it's you know there's all kinds of different things I try but basically uh, his donor dad would come over spend a little time in my bathroom yeah. leave me a little present <laughs> uh, and then I would try various things and none of it never worked yeah. it never worked um, so then we went I went to the doctor route did you only try one like the IUI Awesome. No, um, so I, I did it once, and the first time I did it, I, I got pregnant. Um, but nine weeks later, I lost the baby, um, and then I had to wait some time afterwards because I had some I, like a cyst was in there, also something, all kinds of weird stuff. And then I did it again, um, and then I got pregnant with Marley. So 
so two, two, two times. Two times, yeah. Mm -hmm. And both were a success, just he popped out. <laughs> yeah. Like your donor, is he in Marley's life? He is a badass. We love Uncle Franny. He just came over last night, brought me ramen and boba um, because we want. he wants to try to help me be as Asian as I possibly can for, <laughs> for Marley. Um, no, he's absolutely in his life in a very like uncle way. Okay. And I think um, as time goes, that like might develop more. Um, we had lots of conversations, talked about many different things. Um, he he was down for whatever I wanted, um, which is great. And Marley's gonna know him, um, and everybody else knows him too as Uncle Franny. So I really, really am appreciative of him. We love him, huh? And he looks just like him. Hi, Marley. That is awesome. What are your struggles like being with, uh, being a single mom? I think, you know, I thought about this. Um, I don't think I struggle any more than any other parents do. Like if anything, I might have less things without a partner. Um, but I think what I really want, if I really get down to it, is a fucking maid. Like somebody to do the dishes so that I can play with Marley. Because I think that's where I struggle the most. And I don't know that having a partner would make that any different. Like we want to spend time with our kids and we want to do things with our kids and less about laundry, uh, you know, uh, house chores, cleaning. Um, I gave up cooking, meal prepping, and folding laundry so that I can spend time with Marley. So I just want a maid. When you were pregnant, was there, did you have like any uh, like morning sick, any bad morning sickness? Uh, complications. Any complications when you gave birth? I was sick the whole time. It was so, so much so that I carried Pringles cans in my car because they have a lid and they fit oh in the cup holder. That was smart. That like is you could so puke smart. in it and just put the lid on. But it, it that didn't is so matter. smart. I wish I would have like thought of that. Well, have, have you tried puking and driving in a bag? It's a mess. So like, the Pringles can, like, it was just super easy. I could put it between my legs, hold it there. It was gross, but. I would always get the ones with, like, the little thing at the hospital, like, from the doctors. I don't the know. bag? Yeah, and it was, like, a, it had, like, a ring, so oh, it was, like, yeah. easy to hold. But then how do you cover it up? You don't. Yeah. You just. And my, I wouldn't get nauseous a lot. I would just bark and vomit all over the place. I would eat a great meal, think everything was good, and then instantly, oh puked God. everywhere. Yeah. Up until, like, I couldn't eat meat. Dairy. I was only eating vegetables, and I thought, "Am I gonna be a vegan? Am I gonna?" Be <laughs> Not that that's bad, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I missed meat. Can we watch? He's like, no. and then complications. Okay. Marley, um, he was a tiny little baby, um, and he actually stopped growing, and then he had to come early because he just wasn't growing. How early was he? He was a month early. Um, I was hospitalized because he he was measuring smaller than he should have been. And then when they finally induced me, he was almost like lethargic and like not really moving around and he was tiny. He like fell out of my vagina. I really didn't have to do much. <laughs> he, he, was, he was three pounds and like 12 ounces and like he came immediately. Did he have to spend a lot of time in the NICU? Can I, this um, I think we spent 11 okay, days. Right he now. just Can I needed to get to four pounds. Okay, sorry. Nah. It was 11 long days. Ooh. And like when it was happening, I was like, is this ever going to end? But like, it's so crazy to think way back then and like, here I am now. He's yeah. going to be a year next month. How do you feel about us doing this? I fucking love it. I think I found it like at the very right moment in my life. I caught it like right from the beginning. Like I didn't have to go catch up on any shows. Um, I feel embedded in it. I'm gonna need closure if this ever ends. Um, I think it's just really neat to see real life people raising babies. Um, like it's different sometimes when babies are older or kids are older. Like you guys were both raising babies and I think there's a lot of similarities. And then this whole aspect of it, um, being a blog, I think it's fantastic. I really love it. Um, it also like, it brings this like, what feels like a really small community. It makes it feel like, a lot bigger, because it's not small, it's huge. There's a bunch of single parents, there's a bunch of same-sex parents raising babies. Yeah. Um, so it makes, it makes it feel a little bigger. Oh, I think we've covered everything that we wanted to ask her.
Mar, do you have anything you want to say? Got anything you want to say, Mar? Peace. What's up, let's be fam? <laughs> say it, Mar. What's up, let's be fam? <laughs> He's like, like uh, that. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Thanks, Yvonne. You're Thank welcome. You. Love you. All these toys Clearly, we need a tutorial on how to put on baby <laughs> sunscreen. <laughs>